visited the Society for Creative Anachronism out on the Arizona Road in Lake Havasu City. As we saw, the Society had a jousting contest during the day. Bill Everton reports the treachery continued right into the night. Now remember I told you that here at this place it looked like a castle called the London Bridge Resort. They had a big celebration because they became a part of the Ramada Inn chain and they had a few fights. A good fight makes you hungry, so the climax to the resort celebration was a typical 15th and 16th century candlelit banquet. The Society for Creative Anachronism made it look as real as possible. Only the finer places served the soup course from, yes, a bucket. Ah, oh, dancing and merriment and foolishness. I found a bow and arrow and I learned to shoot. I found a little horn and I learned to toot. Now I can shoot and toot and I cute. And we caught a little flirting going on across the room between one of Lord Ducolet's daughters and a dandy from out of town. This would have been typical of a courtly feast around, oh, maybe 16, uh, yeah, around 1603. Flirting's getting pretty serious. Boy, I can't believe it. Right in front of old dad, too. Methinks there's trouble here. I challenge you for having insulted the honor of my daughters and the honor of my family. Sure enough, dad calls the dandy out. But the dandy best so dead, which ticks off both daughters pretty good, and they kill the dandy. Boy, just going out to dinner will never be the same after this. This is Bill Leverton, New Center 10, on the Arizona Road. So that's a lot of excitement over the dinner table, huh? <laughs> that brings us right up to date on the news. So, for the TV 10 News team, have a good night. You bet.